no. Hey guys, for today's video, we are watching Ready Player One. It is a Steven Spielberg film and it was made in 2018. Those are the only things I know about the movie, so I'm just jumping straight into it. But before you can log into the Oasis, you need to make sure your passwords are safe and secure so that IOI can't try to log in and steal all your cool stuff that you've been collecting on your accounts. And that's why I want to introduce you to today's sponsor, NordPass. NordPass is a password manager that helps keep all of your passwords in one easy to find place, whether it be online or offline. My memory is terrible, I'm talking atrocious, so therefore I start writing all of my passwords in notebooks and a loose pieces of paper that I end up losing and then I have to end up resetting all of my passwords anyway, but with NordPass you have an unlimited vault. I'm talking you can put as many passwords and logins in the NordPass vault as you'd like to keep it safe and secure so you know what? Goodbye, stupid pieces of paper that get end up getting lost anyway. Bye. Where did they go? Bye. You can store all of your passwords in just one place. I'm not talking about the side of your chair. I'm looking at you, Sorrento. But also a cool feature that I realized with NordPass is that it recognizes really suspicious websites. So it's gonna be very difficult for you to give your information to creeps on the internet like me. So stay safe and use code Vicuña to get 70% off the summer kickoff sale at nordpass.com forward slash Vicuña to also get a full month free. Thank you again, NordPass, and stay safe, guys. But before we begin, if you are not yet subscribed, be sure to subscribe in order to catch all my latest videos. And if you happen to want to watch the full length reactions, the links to my Patreon will be down below in the description. And also the links to my Twitter and my Instagram if you happen to want to follow me there as well. Other than that, we're getting into the movie right now. Is this not just Ohio nowadays? I could have sworn this is just what Ohio looks like. <laughs> you heard me, rabbit. Okay, so apparently VR just takes precedence over everything and everybody just lives on top of one another. Dude, why does no one here have stairs? All these people are old. How are they gonna get down? I was born in 2027. After the corn syrup droughts, after the bandwidth riots, after people stopped trying to fix problems and just tried to outlive them. Oh, that is actually a, a problem nowadays. Trying to outlive problems rather, th yep, is that a climate change thing? James Halliday saw the future. He gave us a place to go, a place called the Oasis. So that's where everybody's going with these VR goggles. The Oasis? That's trippy. What about people who get motion sickness? I wouldn't like that. There was one lady pole dancing. I wonder what her Oasis looks like. That's me. Well, that's my avatar. I don't like your avatar. I hate his avatar. His avatar himself looks like it's wearing a weave or like a wig. What's up, Age? Hey, what up, Z? Next race is in 20 minutes and I can't do the late one. Man, get my kills on, bro. Is that Daito? Daito and Show. Okay, those are main characters. <laughs> Jason, this is pretty rad. I like this. He and his partner Ogden Morrow released the first. Oh, it's that guy from The Shaun of the Dead. If you want to reach under your seats, you'll find that there's nothing there. <laughs> and then, that guy's on January funny. 7th, 2040, he died. He died. And what he left behind changed everything. He's risen. I thought he died. What is he, a zombie? What's happening? It's a fake death. He faked his death. Before I died, I created an Easter egg. Three hidden challenges test for worthy trade. Off you go, kings. That's really cool. Let the hunt for Halliday's Easter egg begin. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I've never even seen the ads for this game. This game, this movie. The Sixers work for Iowa, innovative online industries. They're just following the orders of the head of IOI, named Nolan Sorrento. He plays a villain in a lot of stuff. What up, Z? What's up, H? Say you do a spy. Thanks, bro. Dude, this is actually a really cool concept. And the overall build-up for the film itself is very interesting. I like the way that it's being done. I like the, the plot is actually being, you know, explained. 
<laughs> I'm relating it to Star Wars, how you go in blind and you're like, what is happening? And then you have to piece everything together. I like the way everything is being set up. It's really fun. This is really cool. First to the key. First to the egg. Oh, already some people out. Okay, why is he the only one with a monster truck? This is so rad! Oh my gosh! I think it's Artemis. I've seen all her walkthroughs, her Twitch streams. It's a Twitch streamer? Ooh! I wonder if you actually feel yourself crashing and flipping. That must be terrifying. This is so rad. <laughs> What the heck is happening? The creativity- Another thing that I really like about this concept is that the creativity is endless with this movie. They did mention that he likes a lot of pop culture, he has a lot of pop culture references in his- in the Oasis, so I think it's pretty cool that he- they're actually including that in the film as well. The effects are very nice as well. Fail! Fail out! Fail! Oh, now they're in love. Classic love story. The second they start rolling around on the ground, they're in love. Oh, H, well, he's my friend, but he could fix it for you. So this man is in love with a Twitch streamer is what we're learning right here. You have to excuse him. He gets a little nervous around pretty girls. Mmm. Go back, 10 seconds. Why can't we go backwards really fast? Really put the pedal to the metal, you know? Backwards. Bill and Ted did it. <gasps> Bill and Ted? Mmm. That's, that's the clue. He found the key to something. Oh, <gasps> never mind. He's going to the map. He's going to complete the race backwards. No way. Back to the future. The car is perfect. <gasps> he completed the race. He's the first person to complete the race. They're just riddles he needs to solve. Anorak, it's such an honor. Yeah, the honor is all mine. Get yourself a clue. <gasps> and you get a clue? Let's go. Holiday's contest is vitally important. I mean, it's nothing less than a war for control of the future. But this Parzival, he's not even clammed up. He's alone. We have an army. And yet, yeah, he's got the first key. Ooh, get wrecked. They're so going to attack him in real life. Make sure he can't play the game. Let's see his avatar. Ooh, big boss over here. He's like, I got the suit and everything. I'm fancy. He's supposed to be Superman. That's what his avatar is? I have another job for you. Parzival. I rock. How much more do you want? That's what I like about you, Nolan. You bite straight to the chocolatey center of the Tootsie Pop. Remember that old commercial with the owl? I rock. <laughs> that guy's funny. A creator who hates his own creation. A hidden key a leap not taken. Retrace your steps, escape your past, and the key of Jade will be yours at last. I don't like riddles. I'm so bad at them. But everything has to do with his own life. His own wants and dreams, I guess. Everything in the Oasis, all these hints and stuff, parallel to his own life. And so that's why he's studying so much. Karen Underwood. No. <gasps> oh, Karen Underwood. As in Ogden Morrow's wife? Just watch. So listen, you and Karen Underwood, what'd you do? She wanted to go dancing, so we watched a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a date with a guy. Holiday purposely removed every mention of her except for this one. That's weird. Why? Underwood. It's like... It was just so painful for him to have to see her face or hear her name. He wants to erase her. Oh, well, a quarter. You can keep it. No, you can keep it. You know the Distracted Globe? Yeah, the dance club. Meet me there. There's something I want to show you. She wants to go on a date with him is what she wants to do. So Halliday built it for her. But they never made it past the first date. So Halliday's the creator. Who hates his own creation. And the club is the thing he hates. And a hidden key a leap not taken. So when we jump off, maybe it's different, right? This is kind of scary, actually. Could she be using him? Could she actually be, could she actually be evil? What do you guys think? I don't know. What kind of haptics are you rocking? You got the gloves in full visor or full body? Oh. Can you feel this? Oh my God. <gasps> Boner alert. 
My name's Wade. What? <gasps> I said my name's Wade. Stop. You don't tell anyone who you are. You can't use your real name. You don't know me. I do know you, Artie. I'm in love with you. Uh... My dad died in a loyalty center. I'm so sorry. I you don't live in the real world, Z. From what you've told me, I don't think you ever have. And I can't afford to let you distract me. But she was still using him. I think she was still using him to get back at that company. Because I feel like I'm not going to pronounce it right. The real world identity of Parzival is Wade Watts. What did I say? They were going to go after him in real life to prevent him from continuing in the game. I crack open a tab. I put on some Duran Duran. I play Robotron. That's why I love the Oasis. Because it's just full. He's so fake. I can't handle him. He's, he's doing a good delivery, though. He really is delivering it. What are you doing? You, With you all that's going on in the world, you really think that anyone's going to give a damn about an explosion in some ghetto trash rat barn in Columbus? Are they really going to do a murder? Can't you call the police? Can't you record this? They're really placing bombs. This is illegal. This is like highly illegal. There's old people there. <laughs> Oh my gosh are you kidding me that's highly illegal first of all they just committed how many murders say that again my guys are a little paranoid artemis artemis my real name is samantha but yeah i live in a homeless colony welcome to the rebellion wade how did she find him also how is her hair done so perfectly i love that sweater so cute I'll call you Sam. No. Samantha? Okay. Something's gonna interrupt their kiss. Uh. Oh, shit! Huh? I just figured it out. Figured what out? The second clue, I know what it means. Yep. They really tried to not lean into that kiss. That was very uneventful, I see. We figured out the second clue, the challenge is here. Halliday kept track of every movie he ever watched, the week and the year he watched it. Are you absolutely sure you want to go here? Absolutely positive. You're not going into the movie The Shining, are you? The classic beginning song. I love The Shining. Such a good film. You go into the movie? That's amazing. I've never seen The Shining. Is it really scary? Uh, I have to watch it through my fingers. He's gonna get scared. I hope they meet him in real life. He seems really cool. Uh, hi, naked lady. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Uh, your bath time? Uh, I know self-care can be important. Uh, can you do me a favor and tell me where are all the exits? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go with it. Why would you go with it? <laughs> this is a cool remix of The Shining. Oh, Look, this is so scary. No. <laughs> disgusting. Bro, dude, are you really? She's just murdering people left and right. <gasps> This is disgusting! Care to dance? Do you know how long I've been waiting for you to ask? Aww. I really like that. That's kind of cute. This is kind of charming. It feels almost satisfying. Getting closure, almost, with each the end of each key. It seems like you're you're getting closure. It's it's very cute. Now we just have to win the Shining Challenge. Get her off me! Get her off me! Get her off me! Mood! <laughs> That looks like so much fun. I want to play that game in VR. Are you kidding me? You really think I'm gonna win? Y yes. <laughs> Isn't this a- this is highly illegal. Why can't you call the police? The Oasis needs you. I'm gonna delay them. Wait, no, 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 wait, no, no. But she has one of the keys. You will be remanded to the nearest IOI loyalty center until your debt is paid in full. That's evil. That's really messed up and evil. <laughs> Never trust someone you meet in the Oasis. He might be a 300 pound dude named Chuck who lives in his mama's basement in suburban Detroit. Wait. <gasps> <laughs> Helen. I love it. They meet in real life. I told you I wanted them to meet in real life and they finally did. Taito. My real name is Toshiro. Samantha got us a message. She told us to meet you here. This is so cool. Meeting your online friends in real life. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. I need more of this. This is a slow ass van. Are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm 11, so what? His real name is Zoe. But everyone else calls me Show. No big deal. You're the world's most badass 11 year old ever. He knows. Shut up. Let him tell me. Let him tell me? 
I honestly, this movie has grown on me so much. I love everything and how it's done. I love that it's against like this huge co evil corporation. IOI will not reimburse any lost coin if you zero out. But moving! That's terrible. Oh my gosh, this company really makes you hate it, huh? Hi, Rock, how are we doing? To be honest, I think I need physical therapy because it's not your. <laughs> Rock is actually one of the best characters. How'd you get in here? Artemis. Who? Samantha Cook. Where is she? You're gonna tell me exactly which rig she's in and the access code to contact her. Yeah, that seems appropriate. And what's he gonna do? Yeah, keep an eye on him. Huh? I think he pissed himself. <gasps> Good job, Z. It was fake. That is really cool. He thinks he's back at his office in the real world, but actually, he's here in the identical office that H built. That is impressive. The creativity of this movie ceases to amaze me, and the visuals are phenomenal, to say the least. Okay, inside the panel, there's a lever. Grab it with your right hand and slide it to the left. That should release you. <laughs> like no one would have figured this before. You need to raise an army. Get to Planet Doom and wait for my signal. What signal? I'm gonna take down that shield. Wait, Artie, wait. You gotta get out of there, Artie. No, she's not going to get out of there because you're gonna bust her out anyway. I think he's gonna figure out that he's in the thing. He's gonna figure out that he's in the oasis. This isn't real. You're tapping my feet. Uh oh. Guys. Oh no. I didn't think it was bright enough to catch on to it. Honestly. I only came here to escape the shitty hand that life dealt me. But I stayed because I found something much bigger than just myself. Friends, love. And yes, I know it's kind of a groaner, but I found love. What did I say? What did I say? This movie makes me want to play VR so bad. Even if the Oasis doesn't exist, I want to play VR now. This is so exciting. We ask you to join us on Planet Doom. In the name of James Halliday himself, help us save the Oasis. Everyone's gonna show up. Are you kidding me? Everyone. It, it just, you know, there's like a loading screen. You know, it's just gonna take a little bit. No man is a failure who has friends. <laughs> Another reason I really like this movie, and I think it's so much more fun, is because they actually are able to use characters that we see in real life. Like, there's t characters that we actually see in today's pop culture, you know? So I think that's really interesting and really cool. How long does it last, this orb thing? I know not back. It's fast, but that does you damage. Yeah, about 10 million years, so we should be fine. We should be fine. Just kidding. Get wrecked. First to the key. The amount of time we have seen Tracer and just Overwatch characters is kind of insane to me. I don't know why Tracer was like a favorite. Um, interesting. They definitely have some favorites in this movie. There's other characters, you know. Adventure. They're playing adventure. Created by Warren Robinette. He was the first designer to ever hide an Easter egg. I can't believe this. This is... I am so impressed with this movie. Why did I not see any trailers for this? I've never heard of it before. I really like this movie a lot. It's a lot of fun. It, I, it's definitely one of those movies that you... I think everyone should watch. It's, it's a really fun movie. And I think it's done so well. I never thought I'd see the Iron Giant versus Mechagodzilla. I used to watch Gundam so much, dude. Stop! This is so cool! He lost everything, <gasps> but he sacrificed himself. I mean, I would have aborted, honestly. I would have done the stab and then... Mm -hmm. 
I love it. You love seeing the villain suffer. Mmm, they went a little detail there, but it was it was good. It was worth it. The girls in the war room. I want to meet him in real life. I want to see where he's at. He's probably Chuck from Detroit. She's gonna sacrifice herself. Oh, no, no. <gasps> you see the sadness in his eyes, bro. I can't see this. I can't see this. I can't look at this. Terminator, bro. Oh my god. That's so. I love the pop culture references of this movie. It's not about winning, it's about playing. Well, there's a secret in adventure. You find it by wandering around in a dark room. It's pretty easy if you know what you're doing. Really? Let me finish it for you. Oh my gosh, this guy sucks so much. I hate him. <laughs> Suddenly he knows how to fight. This is what's happening. 1v1-ing him. <laughs> I love seeing it. No, 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 no! No, no, no! So everyone's just gonna start from the beginning. Wait, why is he still alive? Because of the quarter. Thanks, curator. Curie, Kurt, Curie, did you Curie, Kurt, Kurt, Curator, Curie, Curator, Curator, is the goat. Give me that. No, no. That was a really good camera angle, though. Warren Robinette was proud of adventure. That's why he created the first digital Easter egg. The creator's name. He got it. He got the last key. I'll run because everything's like collapsing. I'd be afraid. I mean, it's probably not supposed to kill you, but I would still be afraid. Do you want it or not? <laughs> Do you want- are you drunk? What's happening? He did it! It'd be the worst if like it disconnected at this moment. Horrible. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Now you just sign these papers and the oasis is yours. There's some kind of plot twist, right? There has to be. This is wrong. I won't make the same mistake you did. Oh, good. I just needed to be sure. That's so cool. This is where you grew up. Oh, that's just me. A long time ago. I like to have him around from time to time. This is honestly such a heartwarming story. I didn't expect it to be. Egg? It looks like it's made out of jelly. Right. No! Please! He has the egg. Stay away. Who's crying? Does this man have a heart or not? I don't think he does. I'm really kind of surprised that he didn't shoot him though. Like really surprised. Where have you been this whole movie? Oh my gosh! This man has murdered so many people! Finally the police- well, now I know the police exist in this universe. You're not an avatar, are you? No. He's alive. Is Halliday really dead? Yes. Then what are you? Oh. Goodbye, Parcival. Thanks for playing my game. That's really heartwarming and a pretty bittersweet and I'm taking the leap. It happened. They kissed. Okay, now I'll go meet all my fans, all my friends, everyone, you know? Like, I mean, I took the leap, we're all good. Mr. Morrow, how'd you get here so fast? Everyone's been watching. I've been watching a little closer than most. He's the curator. 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 Cur cur curator. Curator. That's it. The high five took over the oasis. We closed the oasis on Tuesdays Locked. and Thursdays. So cozy. Mike Halliday said, reality is the only thing that's real. That was adorable. <sighs> Happy ending. I love it. I love it. 
So I just finished watching Ready Player One and I cannot get the smile off my face. I, the movie, it was such a pleasant surprise. It was done so well. There was a happy ending for once. So you know I'm excited about that. I thought that the visuals were phenomenal. The plot and the storyline had such wonderful pacing. I think that they went into perfect depth of for each character, for each issue basically. Um, I felt like they didn't go into the characters too much which is really nice because some movies tend to you know focus too much on character development rather than the story and I my personal preference is I really like more in-depth plot than um, depth of character. I, I, that's just my preference. It really depends on the movie but that aside this film did a wonderful job on it. The <sighs> The plot itself was just uh, like it's honestly so nice so nice there weren't too many twists and turns which i typically like twists and turns but this was it wasn't predictable but it wasn't tipsy turny i just know that it was a joy to watch it was a thought that i have never even come up with i've never thought of a plot like this the whole idea behind the movie is phenomenal it was really heartwarming it was bittersweet i really like that it followed the story of the creator and his life i think that it was it was just really charming the movie itself was such a charming movie and i i do recommend that everyone watch it because i think you should watch it at least once a lot of the pop culture references made it so much fun to watch that i think it would just be enjoyable for everyone and me who has lived under a rock almost her entire life still understood a lot of the pop culture references so it was even if it's fun for me it's gonna be a blast for other people so thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and i will be posting very soon. Thank you again, guys. Bye.